Alrighty now, we're still working on the uh, screech owl. And uh, I got quite a bit done. And um, I'm adding some of this white here. Now, you know, I'm taking a lot of um, artistic, artistic license liberty. You know, because look at all that. All right. So, basically, a reference is just something to work by. So, I'm putting in these whites kind of in a staggered pattern. And that's just plain old white. This is a very nice white. It's very fine. Let's put those in. And then I've loosely put in this, but here I got his face pretty much done. I put some black on the tips of his ears and then did this pattern here on his head. I got his fuzzy cheeks. I showed you that by, you know, folding over the wall. I have all this to work and I have to install the foot. Right now, I'm working on these. Now, I think I'll put some uh, white in there and then uh, maybe put some darks underneath just to bring it out some. But here, you see the pattern? checkerboard see here I put some brown over top of the sienna you know and you can move it any way you want really see if I poke around there that'll push that dark see how they kind of almost outline that right I don't want it to look like it's on the surface. I want it to make it look like it's part of. You know, the, the shape of the feathers. So, okay. So I'm gonna put a little over here. still working next door so pardon the pounding or the compression gun I think is what it is we got a farmers market this weekend so I hope to have this done Today is already Thursday, Saturday morning, 9 to 1 at the Lake Worth Bridge at A1A and Lake Worth. It's a nice crowd. They have some good food and some nice art and produce and this wonderful saxophone player. Good coffee, and then they have Tris Taco, which makes a wonderful breakfast taco. Really good. I get one of those every week. <laughs> yeah, it's very good. So see how those feathers, I'm going to put, instead of a solid white, I want some of that yellow coming through. So I'm just going to put some thin white on it. Oh, see how I pulled that out. I can put that back in. You know, you just got to make sure everything's knit in there good. 
Maybe I'll pull this down around this way. And then I could put some brown coming up. See, it's all kind of loose-like. Loose it's got a lot of poking to do. I can just pull this any way I want. Once it's really knit in there, you can't really do that. So, you can always cover it if you want. See that enclosed shape up there? I want to gray-date this down a little bit, I think. Make that a little softer. This owl is not easy. It's not easy. There's a lot of details on this rascal. I think I'll put some of this over here. Got that in there. So I'll go back and put some darks around here. I think I need a few more whites. I want it to turn. So maybe a little up. Maybe a little here. Let's put that up there. And make that come around. So think about your contour. Contour. If you draw the contour, you lend to the shape of the contour. Think about going around the object. Around the object. I still have this in here to put the foot in. do that until the end. That's my little tail. I'm not so sure I like this yellow here. I might get rid of that. I don't know. I'm not even sure if you're really going to see it once it's in the box. I do think I need some here just in case you peek around the side of it in the box. Put some over here. I'm not sure what the next thing I'm gonna do. Um, I need to make some more sandpipers. I sold those last week. It's so strange, in like a half an hour. Oh, I'll take that, I'll take this, I'll take that. Different people. But then you're sitting around for a couple hours and nothing happens. But then all of a sudden, like a burst, I like it. It's more fun to sell than to sit there and do nothing. Although the people watching is kind of fun. Our last show will be May 8th for the season down here. So I don't know what we're going to do in June, July, August... September I think end of October it starts again so we are applying to the Kento show if you've ever heard of that it's in Alabama and my fantasy is to have a sellout show I <laughs> I hope that would happen I don't know I'd have to have a lot of good items you know to sell and uh, people up there, they really look forward to the Kentuck show. 
So if it doesn't get canceled and we get accepted in, which we were last year, but it got canceled because of you know what. So this year it looks like they may have it. Now they were good enough to refund the money when they canceled, whereas some shows just kept our money, which I think is not right. You know, the booth fee is not cheap. Go anywhere from three hundred to a thousand dollars for a booth fee, and if you don't refund that, you know that that gets expensive. Not to mention you have application fee, which is always generally non fundable except for the sidewalk show in Virginia which is in Ro Roanoke they refunded everybody's application fee which I thought was very nice those people are class act so that's supposed to happen I think I applied for that show you know but uh you know, I just hope that it doesn't get canceled. This is really getting boring, you know? Cancellations and stuff. Now, see, that's a very uh, sharp, like, shape, which... And see, this is very squishy. This needs to be knit down more. Which means I can, you know, cover some of that shape. Look, make it a little more undulating, if you will. I can push that that way. Right. I'll put a little dark up here. Make that come around. See now I don't want to completely darken this. I kinda like the lighter color that comes through. You know, leave that transparent if you will. And then I can make kind of, you know, just draw it with your needle. Draw it with your needle. So yeah, that kind of just goes right around. You know, there's some things I'm not liking about this face. Uh, it's just in my mind's eye, I have a better look for it. This part kind of bothers me and I don't know I feel like I want to squeeze these eyes in you see get in there <laughs> but it won't stay see once you get that knit in there it's just gonna bounce back to where it was so foundation 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 if the foundation isn't right your piece isn't right but see, I think that's closer in together. looks better if it stays there. See, in holding this, I've been flattening the bird. You see, he's flat. So, we want to make keep him round. So, you have to be careful not to squeeze your work. <laughs> or, actually, the density of it, you know, will help. If you're not, you know, if it's dense, then you're not going to squeeze it. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right, I'm starting to like that. I have all this I got to do. Now this, I think, calls for a darker sienna in there. Because you can see it's darker and I want it to go lighter as it goes this way. So we'll put a little sienna in there, just ever so slightly.
this off. Then we're gonna try something. Take a little bit of this sienna. Just put a little on here. Remember I talked about enclosed shapes. It really draws your eye. So I kinda wanna get rid of that dark, dark brown line. Push this over. I don't know if that really made a difference or not. Subtle. I'm going to take the lighter color here and then put a little there. Cut that off. I don't want it too opaque, you know what I mean? All right? Go, go. Start to turn that corner. See all this loose stuff? Just ball it up. Stick it. It's a good way to collect. And it can create some nice motion. So it's like a coffee bean in there. Now see, the layering of the color makes a difference. The brown over the yellow looks different than the yellow over the brown. So you gotta take that into consideration. And you know, it's experimenting. I don't know what's gonna happen sometimes. I've never done this bird before. So, you know, maybe my next one won't take me as long. You know, you're working out troubleshooting the difficult areas or, or what works and what doesn't work. Right? I see, I feel like this is too abrupt. So if I put a little bit of this over top, actually I'm gonna take it this way. And just to tone down some of this bright white, maybe it'll give to the gradation of the curve. I mean, if you can do it with paint, why can't you do it with wool? You can. Color is color. It's how you put it on. I mean, you don't want it to look like a s snaggly, snarly mess. So you have to think about knitting it in in an even fashion. Which is not easy, actually. You know, now down here, I find very interesting is what I could do is put some blue on top of that. Blue pushes back and makes it look like it's in deeper in the, uh, deeper. Or more far away than the, than the white does. So I'm gonna try a little bit of that and see if that works. So I got the cool blue because cool blue recedes. See that? I think it's too much. But let's put a little on there and see how that works. All right. So instead of a punch in the face with white, you get a little cool blue, but it still kind of reads as white. All right? Let's pull that a little that way, make it look more like a, a featherish. Let's put a little on this one.
see that? Well, maybe a little bit on this one. But it's a little less, you see? Because when I trimmed it, I got the white in there. So, gray days. Now to incorporate this one, just gonna put a little bit of that on there as well. With the brown I had on top. See now that, oh, okay, wait a minute now. I had it good and then I try to tuck that. Just try to put it on evenly. Oh. <laughs> this way a little bit so it kind of fades get in there oh see that now because I am the way I am <laughs> I'm gonna put some along the wing edge because then that'll make the wing look like it sticks out even further or is off the body if you know what I mean let's see if that works I mean it works yeah but I don't want to do the whole square I just don't want to do part of it see this little hole there let's cover that get on there Right? And then this one. Right? That's nice. Trim the excess off. Now this is the brown here. I'm not sure if I like that. This is extra. Don't do that. It's a scissors sometimes. Gotta be sharp. Exacto knife scissor. Something like that. I think. I don't know. What do you think? Oh, you know. See, it looks almost like a shadow, does it not? Now, which means I'm gonna have to put some right here. Now, that's what I'm talking about. Blue is, you know, awesome. Especially when you're doing flesh tones. It just turns the head, turns the arm. It just turns it. Blue on one side, you know, like reflective light, contour of your uh, shadow, you know. Get that in there. So don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm almost to 300 subscribers. Can you believe it? So I appreciate your support. And if you have any suggestions, I, I know I got a red macaw. Somebody. <laughs> I, I will get to it. I will get to it. Maybe I've just, you know, I've, I've painted them before. So 
um, you know, and you know, people who have birds, right, are gonna want their red macaw, maybe. I don't know. I, I, I'll get to it. it. It's quite a feat. There's no reason I have to make it life size, is there? <laughs> I could always just do it. See, no, I don't like that because I think it's too. So I'm going to cut some of that off. I think it's too much of a shape. It, Finding too much. So I'm just going to let that fade in or out, whichever case may be. You know, uh, gray can look like blue, but, um, you know, because see, this is gray here, but this is blue here. Now, I have to work all this wing and stuff, so I'm going to have to think about what I, I'm going to put there. See, this kind of looks icky. If icky's a word, you know, I don't like that there. See, but I can just put more on top. You know, there does come a point where you just can't knit anymore, and then that's kind of the end of the game, but I still got a lot of squish room in this thing. See, I got a lot that I can do in here. But you see how that just pushed and created those almost lines of wing? And I'm pushing it under this wing. because that's going under. Now, I think I need to build up here because I think this is too close to the, the body. Um, oh, for heaven's sakes, I gotta reach for my beige, what do I call it? Uh, I can't think. My beige, uh, this stuff. <laughs> uh, see, so I just think it's too, this. So I'm going to have to cover my work. Worst case scenario. That's too bad. Oh, well. Because... I didn't have my foundation perfect. Or I messed with that area too much by poking it in and it got ended up getting flat and too close to the belly. So now that can sit off like it should. Right, I'm gonna pull this up end of there. I don't have to make it all do the whole thing. I just got to build this section up. Make the shape, think of it as a, a, a feather or part of the wing and then, right? That's coming up. I say that it has a little better turn, I think. Recess this in. starting to look pretty good. I gotta work all this and then put the feet in and I'll be done. <laughs> 